Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Endless Legend Tempest, the proper playthrough. Technically it's episode 5, but whatever. Um, <laughs> in this episode we just got our library of Auriga. Um, and we can actually build the mega pole here. Ching. The Museum of Auriga as a legendary building is really awesome. Um, you get plus 20 approval per level, 20% um dust and science when your empire approval is at happy and 20 percent cost reduction on empire approval happy so the city can generate if we're on empire approval happy which we um are the city will produce 20 percent more science dust and will reduce the production costs of things by 20 percent um it's also very tempting to just throw the mega pole in here we'll see what happens we'll see if we can pull it off um, I haven't actually looked to see if I'm number one in the world for that. I mean, it says one, but who knows. Oh. Oh. Shoot. And if I get... Aww. we're so We were so close to getting this one. You know, actually, you might still get it if we activate the die. Or the the uh, wine. That's never happening. Um... We might actually pull that off. I'm not even lying. We might actually pull that off. <laughs> um, depending on how many fortresses we can acquire. Oh, crap. You know what? I think I'm going to unlearn that for a second. Because I want to get Cargo Docks and Diplomat's Mance out of the way, and then we'll come back and sort of mix up these two eras. Okay. This guy. We are going to go and look at these ruins. Build two extractors of the following types, and we get augmented extractors. I love augmented extractors. Those actually that actually might be worth doing. If I remember to do it. Nothing, and we're actually gonna immediately head back to the sea. I could pick up this quest, but it's it's haunts. Haunts are great, but I don't think I'm ever gonna get to this area. Um This guy, I want him moved down. What's their quest again? Hero-led army searched the sunken ruins, glowing with the rays of dust. Okay, so we had to get there. That's right. That's a monster or something. So we need our Vors to help with that. Then I'll assign him as my governor after doing that. So, this boat. Go up here, then. Five titanium. I will take five titanium. And we'll get these guys back in the water next. Yeah, our bathosphere is basically, like, almost sneaking. Yeah, we're not doing that. Bye. Okay, just their hero sitting there waiting. Um, how close is he to his next level up? Actually, eleven out of one twenty. Not close at all. I should actually make him the governor now, though, because he'll he'll get there. And when these start completing, he'll get experience for them. And there's so many, like, simple things I can throw into this city now that only take two turns each that he will get lots of experience off of those. Now, Altar of Auriga, I'm actually going to throw down here, I think, because even though um, it's something you throw in your main city... 
Um. Even though it's something you throw in your main city, I think I'm going to want it here as just a burrow anyways. And what I'm going to do is actually build my triangle like that, and we'll have cargo docks in the middle. I think I might pull my settler out of this city for this area. This area isn't actually that great, um, but I want, I want a naval base over here, essentially. Even if it isn't a great one. It's still a naval base, and we'll be able to get our resources coming in and have, um... And be able to defend our inf our super high influence generating things. Bye. Um. Yeah, we'll see what this is over here. Yeah, now these guys are basically exploring and looking for ruins. <laughs> Fuck you, haunts. Jeez. So the world is kind of starting to take shape. This actually might just be one giant landmass. And I still haven't technically met these guys. Oh, I haven't done their quest. Crap. I haven't parlayed or anything with them. Um. Yeah, I lost that one. These guys aren't getting in the water because of the stupid fucking haunts. Um, okay, I know where everyone is. And I'm like, where's my fourth one? It's like, oh right, he was the hero. I put him in a city. I need to get another hero, though. Or reassign him to uh, do this one and keep that. Actually... I just had a thought. God. Fuck you, game. Just fuck you. I wanted to get these guys into the water. Get in the... Yeah, get in the water. That's where you belong. It's your home. Don't you want to go in your home? Um... Dive into the ruins right there. Okay. And I lost something, didn't I? Right there? Okay. Something I need to do real quick. So all these places... Are gonna have civic names. Because... I mentioned this before. Um, give me your brains. So, uh, I'm gonna have, oh, I don't think you can parlay with those guys, actually. It'd be a little, can you? Well, we'll test. Mr. the bathosphere. Nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna give all these places civic names. It's part of the part of the spiel. Um We'll do two turns and see if I buy these out. Because all these only take two turns each. Technically this is one turn between one turn for each of those, so it's like... I don't know if I just want to buy it out or not. Oh, I need to research something. 
And like I said, cargo docks are supremely valuable, as is Diplomance Mance. Leviathan's on my list, as are fire ships. Like I said, I want a fairly nice, um, fairly nice navy, as is prisoners, slaves, and volunteers. But we're going to for, um, breaching, breaching wave after that. Because we're going to make our stuff as cheap as possible, is the whole thing. Both in terms of industry and in terms of buying it out. Ah. No pacification from them. God damn it. Oh, we did that! Awesome! Suan. Where's Suan? That's way up here. Yeah, I don't really care about this stuff way up here. Yeah, we got that legendary deed. You know, I could probably get to doing that one just by killing all the one or ships that are floating around out here. Okay, we can only attack them. Let's risk it. I don't care about these guys at all. And there are three villages I have to pacify in this region. Oh yeah, I can do an assimilation. Um, boss might be the thing I go for. If we get all three, that's 15% more food. Which I can definitely get on board with lots more food. It can sit in the rain for a little bit. And then... Should I go for that with these guys? That was that, um... Wasn't that... No, it was that. Perhaps somewhere in the depths of the sea you find plans for construction of vessels that will help you. Oh. Let's do that. We are doing that. <laughs> if I get free ships out of it, that is awesome. Got our first four, everyone. Oh, jeez. Well, I got control of this place for a little bit, at least. Until that guy goes and takes it back over. I think because I set this guy in something for a long time. Quite, but close. Vor's just gonna sit there for a while. These guys. These masterminds. So here's green. Let's go meet them. I believe this is Balters. They're nice and far away. They can stay nice and far away. Rathosphere's out of move. Um, turn 30. We're barreling, barreling along quite nicely, actually. I'm very, very happy with where things are going right now. Pause Village 2. Yep, Tycast is gone. It was probably that one I just acquired. So build another boss structure. Yeah, I don't 
Um, they're not going to be able to finish that off, but that's fine. Um, let's see. My yellow submarine can come over here. That is, I believe, the reference for the yellow bathosphere. It's yellow submarine. And, um... Does it go in there? Those guys. Okay, yeah, they're there next turn. Perfect. Yeah, Tycast was that one. We had it for one turn. Um, yeah, we'll do one more. My throat still hurts from doing the Davy Jones voice like an hour and a half ago. Okay. Dive for treasure. Six glass steel. See, you're mastermind, so you can actually go on the land. Dive and don't have to fight a thing. Two other undersea ruins to find missing information. I'd love to get fire ships for free. Explore two other undersea ruins to fill in missing. Is that just any ruins? Because if that's the case, I probably should have just say like, <laughs> yeah, we'll get to them. Don't worry. Okay, bathosphere. Well, I mean, we'll see if that is actually the case. Oh, they might be the ones in um, Tan Elm. Yeah, because there's two more in here. We'll test this theory. Why did I have them come on land here? Oh no, they're paws, yeah. So... Oh, because we have our militia. I think that actually works. Almost. Like, if they get another roaming army out here, we'll be able to uh, take them down. Yeah! I'll maybe shave off the two turns. I don't know, I'm not really looking to, uh... Speed super fast, like, our score's okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're not doing fantastic, but we're doing okay. Cargo docks or research. Both of my places have grown in population. Um. Yeah, I'll just wait the two turns, actually. However, yeah, I'll, I'll wait the two turns, actually. Because we can just do, like, that. You know, I think I'll have them go... We'll, sweat, we'll swap them after the uh, altar is done. No, it's kind of weird because that's the thing I want to get done, but that's how it's going to go. Wow, 100 dust? I will take that. We get a pearl out of it, too. Where even are they? Okay, they're down here. Yeah, I want to go meet some more neighbors, I think. We'll get them back in the water. Okay, so it's not these ruins. 
See, I'm very confused by this, because it's like, you gain some ideas from the ruin, but much of it's in rubble. Explore two other undersea ruins to fill in the missing information. And it doesn't specify which two. So is it just, do I take, like, my uh, yellow submarine here and dive on that next turn? And we'll get it? I don't know. But uh, this guy was exploring. So let's get him back to exploring. I still haven't technically met the roving clans yet. That's kind of funny to me. Seriously, man? No, screw you. Just go dive this one. Yes, yes, that was it. We just needed to do two. Oh, we got fire ships. Yeah, we got boarding vessels and fire ships. Fucking awesome, man. Okay, that I will buy out. We'll move them up when we get our next thing. And then we'll get the boss in there and that'll be very nice. And then we'll be able to pick that up. And we'll have good food going on in our cities. So, army. Boarding vessels. Add it. They have boarding spikes. They get some boarding party. This is a pretty cool ability. Converts 30% of remaining life um, to bonus damage. And, uh... I don't think we have enough titanium coming in right now. That's zero. Because you just don't have titanium coming in at all. So we're going to leave that normal. But I am going to grab up the um, health. Because we want these guys to have a lot of health. And uh, I want Fomorian Slayer on these. Because we're going to make them... We're going to make our not vores like Fomorian Killers. And these guys have Endless Flames. Which is a really awesome ability. What's Dust Focal? That's a laser. 25% damage to the target and opponents behind it up to two tiles. So that hits in a line. That's amazing. But I'm going to keep the fire. I might make laser ships just to have laser ships, though. Um. Yeah, let's just kit these guys out in some nice... That's a lot of health for this level. And we'll give them Fomorian Slayer. That's pretty high on the industry scale, actually. Well, no, you know what? We're gonna have the mega pole by the time we get to these, so let's just go let's just go ham. Yeah, I just didn't want these guys get guys getting attacked. That annoys me. Hopefully we'll be getting that mega pole. <laughs> oh god, I need to get mercenary markets and imperial coinage in here somewhere. There's so many techs I want to get that I'm just not getting. Okay, so we need to capture local capture the localized fortress in Chadom or Tan Hanam. You know what? We're just gonna do that then. Screw that quest. That quest is boring and I don't like it and I hate it. Two boarding vessels, um, a vor and a fire ship will be our army. Empire plan is eminent. All right, vor. We're gonna go have some fun. And then this area will be mine. Oh, I didn't realize my bathosphere and my mastermind were meeting up.
be at war and we get 160 dust. That's probably never going to happen. And this will get us our titanium coming in, actually. Three turns and I'll move them over. And then after that, you know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna plop a settler in there. Because we're gonna... We're gonna let this town grow to five and then drop it down to four. Because we want... We want to... Um... We want this region and just to have that third region. Where? Oh, the lightning. Okay. okay. That sucks. Sucks because he... You know what? We're going to kill this thing first. A little boarding party out of the way and we will attack that next turn i'm fine with that oh that's a pirate isn't it a bathosphere we're gonna dive on that we're gonna try to keep these guys running around so they don't get destroyed by this pirate ship that's right here It'd probably kick their asses, honestly. Yeah, probably kick their asses. The whole reason I'm pulling my settlers from this place, or at least settler from this place, is because they'll have the boss soon. This is going to be a little bit of a rough one to get, but as soon as we get boss units, I will actually use them as a pseudo-standing army. Um, Retreat? And retreat. Love this game sometimes. Oh, we got Nawir. Interesting. It's kind of a unique item that pearl and then uh we'll go we'll probably run them back in the sea um yellow bathosphere um we're gonna run away this way hopefully this pirate ship will stay away from it they don't want to lose the my yellow submarine Have them dive, fix titanium, and we'll have them uh, hit these ruins up. No, we'll have them, have them go around the outside and then hit the ruins up. So, um, I am actually going to manual this one, even though it's 2v2, and I have the advantage, strictly because of the fire ship, and... I want to try and get the boarding vessel to come out. Um, because... And I don't... Like... I don't necessarily want, um... I don't, I don't want to lose a Vor, because the fire ships hurt like a bitch. This is why they hurt like a bitch. It's like, yeah, we can kill them, but now we're both on fire.
That's also why I want one in one of my navies. But we did it. We did it and the fortress is ours. Now we control this entire ocean. Hey, I know I filled that quest. I don't care. So if we look at our, our things here, we get a whole dust, two whole influence, and um, two science from it. Three, three, and one, and then one, three, and three. Uh, we also... Are we pulling in two... Whoops, I looked out of the game. Are we pulling in two wine now? We're getting 1.5 wine now off of these. Um, which is awesome. And, uh, Karam is now the Wolf Sea. And, um, I... Can we garrison them? We're gonna garrison them. We're gonna garrison them for now, until they heal up. And then we'll... I wanna at least have a couple in each. Just so they don't fall apart. But, uh, we definitely want to have the, uh, the entire ocean under control and at least one navy in that ocean. And we're going to try to do that multiple times here. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. We were actually not doing terrible on that. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little Bathosphere must run away. And these guys, I'll have them stick to the sea. Because they can just move super quick. And they're actually going to go and say hi to my neighbors. I actually haven't checked the altar yet. You know what's going to be really insanely stupid? I don't actually mind that one. Um, uh, where is Iceworks? That's going to be so goddamn stupid once we're able to get it. Just imagine that. Just imagine it. Are you imagining it? Because it's really, really, really fucking stupid. Iceworks. An entire species, entire faction that's based around water. Oh, and we can actually build our main maritime academies, too. Probably gonna want that everywhere. I'm gonna go till turn 40. I wanna get over my bathosphere real quick. I want it moving. I'll pick up these ruins I missed. The thing is being chased right now, isn't it? By that pirate ship. It was, an, it was the one one thing unfortunate enough to, to run into that. Reactivate the gold. Reactivate the dust. Hmm, whatever. I'm still gonna pick up these quests to see if I can do them. Okay, to gain the loyalty of the Listen Bones Orchard, we must locate and capture the Manufactorum in GML. Um, that's probably never gonna happen. Huh. <laughs> okay. Are we still number one on that? We are one of eight. Oh, and there's, like, I want to get the Luxury Extractor because there's a quest for that. Um, I think I might pick it up next because it's an easy thing we can get out of the way. 
And then moving forward, God, there's so many good things. Mercenary Market, Imperial Coinage, Prisoner Slaves Volunteers, Leviathan, um, the Dust Armor, Central Market, another Native District, Glory, Public Granary. Like, there's so many techs we can pick up. It's almost an embarrassment of riches. It's... It's in part because I think what's going on is because of all the new sea stuff and we're a naval people, all of our navy stuff is really awesome. And we want to pick it up. But, like... Um... We just really want to pick up all this Navy stuff. And it's like, there's so many techs aside from that that you need to pick up for infrastructure and stuff. Forty food in one of your cities for one turn. Okay. Oh, here are the, uh, the Broken Lords. Let's go say hi to them. Um. Hello, my name is Yellow Submarine. What's yours? Are you nice people? This is a giant world. This is a giant, giant world. So they're the, uh... What do you call them? Elves in this game. You know, I wasn't even looking to see what we needed for our empire plan. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we want this and this. And we can afford it. Just barely. So we need to generate 12 a turn, and I think we've got that. So it apply. Search two ruins in Estur. Failed strategic thinking. Oh, I'm never getting there. Um. Oh, that's why we're starting to fail some of these things. So, the, uh... The Forsaken... I can actually get that one. I think it's because I hit parlay with a couple... a couple things, didn't I? Whatever. Um, so the Forsaken have gotten shipyards. They don't want peace. Vaulters, you want peace? I'm not too worried about the Vaulters quite yet. Hawaii. Nobody is peaceful. Don't worry, we'll make them peaceful. Actually, let's also look at the score screen before I, I stop this episode. So we are the teal. We are... We're keeping pace. That's what's kind of important. Who dropped off? That's fine. Science. Okay. Let's diplomacy. Wow. And quest, we are at... One still. Yeah, I haven't actually been paying attention to our quest. I forgot what section we're on. Um, I think we need to control the C for ten turns. Is the Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. Naval quest. Fortress, 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 faction. There it is.
Um, that's a glitch. We have that fortress. Yeah, no wonder the quest isn't advancing. Okay, let's make a new army. Yeah, so let's try and conquer that fortress. That'll be our next thing we do. Um, Mega Poles in 10. That's actually really good. <laughs> and Momir Vig, how are you doing? Settler in 3. That's really good as well. So we're going to hit 41 and get our plans results implemented. That should at least drop a lot of our costs again. Um, prisoners, slaves, and volunteers. Yo, yeah. Um, die is going to be on all the time. So yeah, we need to generate 12 a turn, which we're doing. And I would actually like to have something like that. Maybe even that. So 24 a turn would be a goal to get all of that in there. I think we'll be able to do it if we take another C. Because this place is only two. And that should be easy to take and maintain. And after the mega pole is done, um, we'll be building up these things. And then Prisoners, Slaves, and Volunteers is on the docket for things to pick up for more low-end techs. Oh, is this Mastermind right here? No, we're going to have him go say hi to the uh, Wild Walkers. And... Wild Walkers? <laughs> oh, that's a funny glitch. There's the boat just sitting right there. Um, yeah, we'll give the yellow bathosphere in that. Okay. So, that's going to cover this episode. We are making lots of progress. The world is still a big unexplored place. But we have a lot of it explored, given what it is. And we've met all... We've met about half of the group. So we'll, meet, we'll be meeting two more momentarily. The Forsaken are on the sea. That's something we have to be aware of. They might be something we end up fighting real soon. And, uh... Speaking of fighting, we're going to take over this fortress, and that should give us our quest. Oh, you son of a bitch. God fucking damn it. This is why we need them. Wait, I can cat's paw these. Fuck you, you're mine. <laughs> I don't care that I just spent the influence on that. I'm not letting you take over my oceans. Get your ass down here with my other army. I'm so having your ass killed next. Next turn, you're dying. You're dying in a blaze of glory. Probably because there's a fire ship in here somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to take that over. Um, I need to get this bows out of the way. Oh, that's an army. Uh, how much is that going to cost me? 24, I'll do it. We're going to kill this last bows thing and build it here. Uh, we'll get the settler and put it in this area. Um, I don't know, rightly know where... Um, probably down here. I'm leaning on putting it down there. Uh, Galron are actually not a bad thing. And that means, geez, we are, like I said, we have an embarrassment of text to go for now. Because if we get the Galrons, maybe the native district will be worth getting. Um, because there's still, like, we don't have the mercenary market or imperial coinage, so we can't access the marketplace at all. We don't have our Leviathans yet. We don't have glass steel armor yet. For accessories for our, our heroes that we would eventually get. We don't have the granaries. We don't have prisoners, slaves, and volunteers. We don't have central market. We don't have glory of empire. Um, actually, I think agricultural science would be better than public granary for given who we are. And it's like, it's like, dang, we're...
Um, we actually might be able to get that. We'll take over all the Cs. Yeah, a lot of le legendary Ds are still up for grabs, and we can actually get a couple of them. Um, yeah, there's just so many techs, like, and that's not even counting, like, other techs up here. Oh, and I forgot, meritocratic promotions in here as well, and we're gonna need that for our navy. That actually might be next. So there's so many techs we need to get. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this faction. Uh, and I love having the sea power thing going on. We're probably gonna stick a, a navy up here in case these guys start to screw with us, because they're taking over this ocean, it looks like. Um, yeah, so, aren't we supposed to be meeting? Okay, we're going to be meeting people next turn, then. Okay, so thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time for more Endless Legend Tempest.